Hi, Dr. Joe here to talk about Alzheimer's disease and how arginine affects that. It's from Harvard. It's printed in the International Journal of Clinical Experimental Pathology, uh, 2009. Uh, there's a lot of doctorees, and I think it's about 35 pages long, but it is something that talks about all the ramifications of saying there's a lot of things you can do to prevent Alzheimer's. And I think that what we have seen clinically is a little hard to tell because, you know, if you have Alzheimer's, you don't even remember to take the stuff. But as we have done this, we find that, first of all, the small vessel disease are improved largely, and that's what's mostly in the brain. So that's a major situation. Second thing they talk about was the ability to reverse atherosclerosis is what the Nobel Prize was given for arginine. And it is a situation where there's a lot of evidence that that, too, plays a role to get rid of the problems of uh, Alzheimer's disease. Uh, the brain has uh, three different, four different, actually, uh, ways that it gets circulation in. It used to be thought nothing get, got in there and that arginine would never help the brain. But, of course, that was silly because the, the body needs arginine. It's a, really, right now, the only essential amino acid that we made longer acting in the body by adding the L-citrulline that makes it last 36 hours. Pretty cool. So we have these things changing everything, including the most important thing in my mind is the inflammation. We have all these markers that we watch as we give this to people to know, are you diminishing your inflammation? Are you getting everything out of it? We plan, and if not, we have other fallback mechanisms that we can use. So at any rate, uh, not that we do all the situations, but Harvard did a lot of this, is telling you how L-arginine will stop the process of getting Alzheimer's disease. That's your time.